everyone, this is Jay Kadna here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solved d cube y by dx cube minus d square y by dx square minus 8 into dy by dx plus 12 y equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. d cube y by dx cube minus d square y by dx square minus 8 dy by dx plus 12 y equals to 0. So now we are going to write the given equation in operator form since we know that the differential operator d which is nothing but dy dx right. So we can write d square by dx square. We can replace d square by by dx square by d square. Likewise, d cube by dx cube can be replaced by d cube. And obviously, d by, d by dx can be replaced by differential operator d. Okay. So, then the above equation becomes d cube y minus d square y minus 8 dy plus 12y equals to 0. If you notice you are having y in all the four terms, right? Now let's take y common from all these terms. Then we will get d cube minus d square minus 8d plus 12 into y equals to 0. Which is in operator form that is f of d into y equals to 0 right now if you notice here we have highest derivative d cube y by dx cube so our order will be 3 since the highest power of the highest derivative is 1 so our degree will be 1 Fine. Now coming to the operator form. So here we have f of d equals to d cube minus d square by comparing these two we will get f of d d cube minus d square minus 8d plus well, right now we need to find the solution to the given equation. So, here we are going to use the auxiliary equation we'll use the auxiliary equation to find the general solution to the given equation. So, the auxiliary equation. of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to you get f of m by replacing differential operator d by m you get m cube minus m square minus 8m plus 12 right then our auxiliary equation becomes m cube minus m square minus 8m plus 12 equals to 0. Now, we need to find roots to this auxiliary equation. Roots or factors. Okay. So, here we are going to use synthetic division method to find the factors or roots. So, 
So we'll choose M, I mean the suitable M, which satisfies the polynomial. Okay, just consider this polynomial m cube minus m square minus 8m plus c. Let's see which m suits this or satisfies this polynomial. Firstly, let's try for m equals to 1. Okay, we are trying for m equals to 1. This is equals to 1 minus 1 minus 8 plus 12. 12 minus 8 is 4, which is not equals to 0. So, m equals to 1 does not satisfy this polynomial. So, now let's go for m equals to minus 1. Which is equals to minus 1 whole cube. Minus 1. Minus. Minus 1 whole square is 1. Minus into minus plus 8. Plus 12. Which is equals to. Minus 2 plus 8 plus 12 is 20, which is 18. And this is also not equal to 0. So from this we can say that m equals to minus 1 will not satisfy this polynomial. Now we'll try for m equals to 2. 2 cube minus 2 square minus 8 into 2 plus 12. Which is equal to 2 cube 8 minus 2 square 4 minus 8 2 is a 16 plus 12 equals to 8 plus 12 20 minus 4 minus 16 is minus 20 which is equal to 0. So yes here m equals to 2 satisfies this polynomial. Now coming to the synthetic division. So what we'll do is. We'll write the coefficient at the right place. Okay. 12 minus 8 minus 1, 1. Okay. So, firstly, this polynomial is satisfied by m equals to 2, right? For m equals to 2, 1 plus 0, 1. 2 ones are 2, minus 1 plus 2 is 1, 2 ones are 2, minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6, 2 into minus 6 is minus 12, 12 and minus 12 gets cancelled and finally you get 0 as your reminder, right, or just 0. So now, from these three numbers we will get another polynomial, right, let's see the places and m power 0, m power 1, m square. So from this, we'll get the polynomial m square plus m minus 6. Okay, better. We'll just write the polynomial. Okay, now, now we'll see which m satisfies this polynomial. So, if you notice, you are having minus 6. So, there is no possibility of choosing 1 or minus 1, right? If you put 1, you will get 1 plus 1, 2 minus 6, which is equal to minus 4. Likewise, if you put minus 1, you will get minus 1 whole square plus minus 1, minus 6, which is equal to 1, minus 1, minus 6. And also, this will not be 0. So directly we will go for 2. 2 square plus 2 minus 6 which is equals to 4 plus 2 minus 6 which is 6 minus 6 equals to 0. So here m equals to 2 satisfies this polynomial. So now we will take m equals to 2 here. One plus zero one, two ones are two, one plus two three, two threes are six. Again, minus six plus six equals to zero. Right? 
So again, you are having one entry from this, you will get another polynomial. M plus 3. Okay. So, here, by saying we can say that for m equals to minus 3, this polynomial gets satisfied, right? Is equals to 0. So, for m equals to minus 3, 1 plus 0, 1, minus 3 into 1, minus 3, 0, right? So now, we will write the factors of this polynomial using these three. Okay. So here we have for m equals to 2. From this, we will get m minus 2 equals to 0. Then m minus 2 will be one factor to this polynomial. Okay. I am not talking about the equation. I am just talking about the polynomial. Okay. And here also you are having m equals to 2 from this we we'll get m minus 2 equals to 0 and m minus 2 is another factor to this polynomial. And here you're having m equals to minus 3. From this we'll get m plus 3 equals to 0 which is another factor to this polynomial. Right? So we can write this polynomial as product of m minus 2 into m minus 2 into m plus 3. Okay? If you want we can check this. Let's verify m minus 2 into m minus 2 into m plus 3 which is equals to m minus 2 you can just write this as m minus 2 whole square into m plus 3 and let's expand m minus 2 whole square which is m square plus 4 minus 4 m into m plus 3 which is equals to m square into m is m cube plus m square into 3, 3m three square plus 4 into m, 4m plus into plus plus, 4 3 is a 12, that is plus 12, minus, minus into plus minus, 4m into m is 4m square, minus into plus, minus, 4m into 3, 4 3 is a 12, m. Okay, from this we'll get m cube. So plus 3m square minus 3m square is minus m square. And from minus 12m square plus 4m square, sorry, minus 12m plus 4m you'll get minus 8m plus 12. You'll get the same polynomial, right? You got the polynomial. So, we can write this polynomial into product of three factors. Fine. Now, we got the factors, right? So, again, by equating each factor to zero, we will get the roots. So, from this equation, we will get m equals to 2. And from this, we will get m equals to 2. And here you will get m equals to minus 3. So m equals to 2, 2 minus 3 are the roots of auxiliary equation. This one are the roots of f of m equals to 0. Right? So here if you notice you are having two equal roots. And one distinct root. Right. So if we have. M1, M2. Equal roots. That is. If M1 equals to M2. Then our general solution will be. Y equals to C1 plus C2 X into. E power M1 X. Okay. 
if you have some three equal rules then we'll include one more constant here you're having c to x right here you're having x power 0 x power 1 then here you'll get x square into e power m1 x So for two equal roots, this is the formula. What about two equal roots and one distinct root? If M3 is distinct, then you will get plus constant into e power distinct root into x. So therefore the general solution is therefore the general solution is y equals to constant plus constant to x into e power here m1 equals to m2 equals to 2, right? So, you'll get 2x plus c3 into e power distinct root into x. So this completes the problem. See here we have used synthetic division method to find the roots. You can use any of the suitable method. Okay. If there is a possibility of using factorization to find roots, you can go for factorization. Otherwise, you just can solve using synthetic division method. If you notice, here you are having 1 and 3, right? From this itself, you can say that m plus 3 is 1 factor. Okay? No need to go for the next step. So, so we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.